Hey guys, what's up? Welcome to my douchey channel. My name is Chloe C. Shoddy Hill. Thanks for clicking on this video. I hope you enjoy. Today's video we've actually been wanting to make for a long time and we've even tried filming it a couple times, but you want to film a video, I have to be in the right mood, my dog has to be in the right mood, and we just weren't feeling it until now, so we're trying right now. And before I get started, I do just want to say a little disclaimer. I'm not a Basset Hound expert. Copper is the only Basset Hound I've really gotten to know in my life. He's the only one that I really have a relationship with. I have had Copper for six years, but I'm not speaking about all Basset Hounds. I'm talking about my dog, Copper, okay? And my experience with Copper. So I'm not saying I'm an expert. I'm just sharing our experiences here. This video is going to be 10 reasons why you do want a Basset Hound because trust me, there are a lot of reasons why Basset Hounds are amazing dogs and I think I didn't make that clear enough in my video, 10 reasons why you do not want a Basset Hound. If you haven't seen it, I'll link it below. So before I start getting into the deeper reasons, I think it's worth mentioning how adorable they are. <laughs> so number one, Basset Hounds are adorable. There's just no way around it. I mean, look at this cute little face. He's so sweet and cute. I mean, okay, I really can't elaborate that much, but everyone, you clicked on this video because obviously you think Bassets are cute, so I think we can all agree on that point. Reason number two why Basset Hounds are great dogs is they're very loyal. Now, I mentioned copper separation anxiety in our previous videos, but aside from that, they are really loyal dogs. He gets, they get very attached to their people. He's always right by my side. He's definitely a very loyal guy. He gets jealous if I'm touching other people too much or anything. And he's just, he's here for me. And, and it's, it makes you feel so much better knowing that they just wanna be with you. That's all they want. The third reason why you do want a Basset Hound is they're extremely communicative. By that, I mean Copper's always talking to me. He's always trying to express himself. He has such a wide range of emotions and he has no problem like trying to make me understand how he feels. <coughs> what? <coughs> what? What do you want? <coughs> and obviously we've gotten more used to each other's communication styles, I guess you could say. So most of the time I know what Copper wants when he's trying to tell me something. But it's just, it, it really makes for a special, a special relationship and a special bond that I haven't really experienced with other types of dogs the way I've experienced with Copper. Because they just, they don't give up. Right, Cop Cop? You like to talk, right? He likes to talk. So it just makes the bond that much deeper that they have so much to say and so much to feel and think and share with you. The fourth reason why you do want a Basset Hound is they're great with other animals and kids, or at least that's my experience. I've heard of some of you say like your Basset Hound isn't good with cats or things like that, but Copper has always been great with other animals. He's never had a mean bone in his body except for the food aggression thing that we deal with, but it's not that big of an issue. I just have to feed the dogs separately and, and we're fine. He's very gentle with other dogs. When Ollie was a baby, he was super gentle. They played together so nicely. I never worry about Copper hurting him, even though he's a lot smaller. Um, he's very respectful of the cats, and he just wants to give everyone their space. And we grew up in a college town, so Copper wasn't exposed to that many children growing up. But when we do go on walks, and we're in more of like a family-friendly neighborhood now, I was a little nervous the first time because he seemed a little hesitant because he's never seen like a, a little kid before. He really impressed me. He was so gentle with them. He didn't jump up and they're very gentle, gentle animals. At least in my experience, okay? Sorry if your Basset doesn't like other animals. I, mine does. So the, the fifth reason why you do want a Basset and this might be, some people might disagree with me, but hear me out here. I think that Basset Hounds are adaptable. And by that, I mean they can live in a wide range of living situations and, and be happy and healthy and thrive. So one of the reasons why I got Copper when I did was I did, believe me or not, you guys, I did a bunch of research before I got this dog. Because I was living in a one bedroom apartment at the time, 
and I wanted to make sure that the dog that I got would be comfortable there. So Basset Hounds are inactive when they're inside. So Copper is fine to sit on the couch with me and cuddle with me for a couple hours. When he's outside, he'll run around. He obviously needs exercise. They can walk miles a day and they're hunting dogs. So they do need exercise, but I mean like, we didn't, we never had a, a yard that he could just like run around in like now until the past like two years. So the first four years of Copper's life, it was just walks and he did great with that. And now that he has a yard, he's, he's great too. I think they can adapt to a wide range of living situations. Like I think a lot of people picture Basset Hounds like on a farm with, hi Ollie, <laughs> with a bunch of land, but that's not always the case and they can actually do really well at apartments too. The only thing I would say is they're a little louder than other dogs might be sometimes, so that's some, something to consider. And also, <laughs> stairs aren't great for Basset Hounds. So if you have stairs, that's not a great situation long-term just because of their long backs. They're, they're prone to injury. So the sixth reason why you do want a Basset Hound is they're so intelligent. Copper is so smart. He always impresses me with how smart he is. And when he was a little baby, he learned. Like, yeah, he was really hard to house train. <laughs> because he's so stubborn, not because he's stupid. So when he was little, he learned all these commands so fast. It blew my mind, it blew the mind of my family, all my friends, they couldn't believe that he learned all these tricks so fast. So when Copper was like a very young puppy, he learned sit, stay, lay down, roll over, leave it. Very impressive. And what else did you learn? He learned high five. He was really easy to train those commands. I don't know why, but He's, he's smart and I feel like he understands a lot of what I say and I just feel like he gets it. I feel like he gets me and I feel like we get each other. So that goes back to you have like, it's more like a human relationship than a owner dog relationship when you have a basset hound in your life. So the seventh reason why you too want a basset hound is they're really funny. Like if you have a basset hound, you will laugh your way through life, I guarantee it. I mean, sometimes they misbehave and sometimes they do whatever the heck they want and disregard what you might want them to do, but they're just so funny. Like, he's just a little clown. He just makes me laugh. He, he's hilarious. They're really funny. I don't know what else to say about that, but they're, if you know one, you'll know how funny these dogs are. So number eight, they love to cuddle, or at least Copper does. Okay, this, like I said, I'm talking about my dog, not all of the dogs. I don't know, I'm assuming there might be some similarities. Don't quote me on this, but Copper loves to cuddle. He loves to be right near me. He like has no concept of personal space. Sometimes he's just like completely on top of me and he'll just like flop his body on me. And I love that. He sleeps in bed with me most nights, except for the nights where he falls asleep here on the couch. And he, um, and he just doesn't feel like getting up to get in bed. Like <laughs> he sleeps so hard, he won't get up sometimes to come into bed with me. He's just um, like my golden retriever that I had before Copper. She, we had a great relationship and she liked to be near me and she would sleep next to the bed. But she was never really much of a cuddler in the way that Copper is. And I don't know if it's because she was a girl and Copper's a boy or whatever, whatever other factors might be contributing, but they seem like very physically affectionate dogs. So the ninth reason why you do want a Basset Hound is they're actually really amazing watchdogs. I definitely wouldn't go so far as to say they're good guard dogs because I don't know if, if Copper would actually try to hurt someone if they tried to come in here or anything, but what he does do really well is he'll bark very loudly if he hears someone trying to come in. And I think a good thing about that is his bark is so deep and loud. I think people who don't know him might assume he's a much larger dog than he actually is. And I think that I don't know, at least he lets me know if something's happening, and I really appreciate that. I don't know. He's good at it. That's something he's good at. Wait, copy. You have so many talents, copy. So the tenth and final reasons why you do want a Basset Hound is they're just amazing companions. I've said before that I feel like Copper and I like are one in the same, like we are one soul in two different bodies. I know that sounds probably really stupid. I mean, just the way that we're connected is just insane to me. He's always right by my side. He's gotten me through some of the best and worst times of my life right there with me. He has a beautiful soul and I feel like we have such a deep connection 
that I mean I'm not saying that I don't feel that connection with Oliver my other dog and I'm not saying I don't feel that connection with my dog who passed away I, I felt you know each relationship is unique and special in its own way of course but with Copper it's just he's like my ride or die you know what I mean like we went camping and he wore his little backpack and he had a couple cups of kibble in the backpack. Don't worry, it wasn't too heavy. And then he hiked like four or five miles with us. It was so cute. And then he slept in the, in the tent right next to me. I woke up with ticks on my body. He's just funny like that. You know, he just ate my new cat's food while I was playing with her on the bed earlier. He does whatever he wants and it's just really cute to see him living life, walking around, crying constantly. He's my best friend. I'm sure you guys have a lot of reasons you could add as to why you love your Basset Hounds or why you think they're the best dogs. And I do urge you to share that in the comments. Let's get some positivity going. If you enjoyed this video and if you like Copper, I urge you to consider subscribing. And I guess you should press the notification bell whatever that means, I hear other people saying. I mean, I know that it means you'll be alerted when I upload a video, but I'm not sure how to press the bell, but if you know how to press the bell, press it, please. And I'll see you at the next video. I'm thinking I really wanna do an intelligence test with my dogs, but I, I'm i thinking I need an assistant to do that one, so I'm trying to get my friend Sabrina to help me. She already agreed, but, so maybe that'll be the next video. I don't know. I know you guys like to see Copper, so don't worry. I just got, just got a little busy with other stuff. So we hope you have an amazing day and we love you. Thank you for watching. Take care and we'll see you next time. Right, baby? They shed a lot though. Don't get me wrong, they shed a lot. <laughs> we love you. Bye. Say bye. No, you don't like that, sorry. You're beautiful, never forget that. You are beautiful hair flying around. Never change who you are. You're a star. You're beautiful inside and out and I love you. Bye.